Hip Hop Astrology tells you the truth about everything you need to know about. If you want to know the truth about something, it's Hip Hop Astrology. Urban Guru, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was born August the 9th, 1963. Beautiful Leo. And at point number one on the left hand side of the screen, you see Neptune. There's a 14 year group of people who were born with Neptune and Scorpio. Neptune is the planet that deals with drugs and drowning. Those are the key words I want you to focus on, drugs and drowning. It's in Scorpio. Scorpio is the sign of death. How did Whitney Houston die? Now, notice that Neptune is a part of a red triangle. In simple geometry, this is called a right angle triangle or a T-square, where it has two 90 degree angles and the hypotenuse is 180 degrees across. So this is a right angle triangle. When a planet is in this position, such as Neptune, it's the apex, the corner of the T-square it's a lot of pressure that has come into that particular planet. But the planet just simply represents an aspect of our consciousness. So with Neptune, it's, it's our drug consciousness. It's our ability to um, deal with music. Neptune deals with music and it deals with spirituality. So it deals with higher states of consciousness and oftentimes um, people use drugs to get to this different state of consciousness. So Neptune's part of a T-square. There's a lot of pressure on the part of her psychology that deals with drowning and deals with drugs. So point number two is um, the Sun and Venus are joined together. One of my favorite aspects. Now the key words for Venus is marriage partner and entertainment because Venus also deals with music as well. But notice her son and Venus, which Venus is the marriage partner and entertainment. Who did she marry? She married a fellow entertainer, Bobby Brown. But notice that both of these planets are at a square, which is a strenuous position to Neptune, the planet of drugs. So what's likely to take place inside of her marriage? she will be known to be within a marriage that had a severe drug problem. Okay? So now let's move to Bobby Christina. And let's look at point number one. Point number one, she too has Neptune at a T-square. Now this is interesting because she's starting to follow the pattern of her mother astrologically. Now Neptune takes 14 years to move. Okay, she ain't had Bobby Christina until she was like 29 years old. But yet, Neptune was in the same kind of aspect, same kind of geometrical um, configuration as Whitney Houston. So let's look at point number two, where the moon is. Now notice that the moon is in Cancer. A key word for the moon is mommy. This is a known fact, mommy. Now she was born with the moon opposite Neptune, which means mommy could be on drugs. Now let's look at point number three, which is her death day. On July 26, 2015, the moon was in Scorpio. Scorpio is the sign of death. But notice her moon was right there on Pluto, the planet of death. So she died just like her mother. Now, when you look in the sky when Whitney Houston was born, you will see that she had Neptune right there, what appears to be by the Libra constellation. It appears to be right there. I gave that disclaimer a while that looks like that. But now notice where the moon is when on the day that Bobby Christina died, exactly where mommy's drug planet was at. Bobby Christina went home to heaven to be with her mother as soon as both of their planets align. Hip Hop Astrology, Urban Guru. Prophecy 
is what we all have to go by now. It's very interesting.